Another story definitely also that's actually uh, getting uh, on the lips of each and every one in the world of sports has to do with the story that's got to do with uh, Roger Federer. Uh, no doubt uh, Roger Federer is looking at saying, you know what, I'm taking a break and I'm not going to do this anymore. And that's got to do with the sports tennis. Now, Roger Federer is taking a break. And um, this is not actually um, so good for all the tennis fans who are expecting so much from him and expecting to see him play. And he's saying, you know what, I am done. I just need to take this break. And when I do, I will actually come back for the other tournament. So Roger Federer has withdrawn uh, from this week's uh, Paris Masters in order to actually pace himself uh, with next month's ATP finals in London on the horizon. A 38-year-old is playing in his 22nd season on the ATP tour and won a record extending 10th squeeze indoors championship title on Sunday and he went ahead to say that he's extremely disappointed to have to pull out but uh, he wants to play a, as long as possible on the tour and he's sorry to the French fans in particular who actually uh, see at Roland Garros in 2020. So we have uh, our very own tennis, uh, tennis enthusiast who's here with us to um, shed more light on the reasons why you think he might actually have to pull out, could it be as a result of his age? No, definitely it's a, as a result of his age. Um, Roger Federer is someone who is very strategic, it seems, in the way he plays. He's still non, you know, third in the rankings, even though the gap between him and uh, Rafael Nadal is about 2,000 points, mm. as opposed to less than 500 points between Rafael Nadal and Djokovic, who are number one and number two, respectively. So I think, without a doubt, he's looking to play for as long as possible. He's, he's looking at longevity now. Mm. And I'm sure that's good for tennis as well, because a lot of the people who organize these matches know that just by putting his name there, they <laughs> pull a crowd. So this is part of why uh, the organizers of the French Masters will be you know, not, not a little disappointed. Um, but I, I get it. I think it makes sense. He's qualified, like you say, for the, uh, the ATP finals, which you know, means that he doesn't really have anything to lose. Yes, he'll lose a few points by pulling out, but not enough to affect his qualification for the finals in London. So um, it makes sense for him to pace himself. Um, he's clearly on top form, like he demonstrated at Basel in front of a home crowd. Um, but he wants to make sure he can continue playing at that level. I like the way he's, he's organized his, his tennis. Um, he doesn't play the kind of stressful tennis that mm -hmm. Rafael Nadal plays or even Murray. Um, so we're hoping to see him for many more years to come. I think he could even last you know, two, three years if he continues at this pace. I, I really appreciate your comments on that, but Ine, what's your take on that? Do you think um, age is still on his side with the way he's actually going recently? Age, age is not on his side, and he, and he knows it. And <laughs> it's about managing your body as a sports person. When you get to the twilight of your of your career, mm -hmm. where you're not playing at the peak of your powers anymore, where things are not falling for you anymore, when you're not just showing up and winning matches, where you have to dig deep a, li a little more, you've got to look at yourself and say, I can't play in every competition realistically. I can't do it regularly. I can't do it every week, every week. You can't produce at that level because what you do not want to do is go out there and throw everything you've, you've won or achieved over the years because if you play in every tournament and all of a sudden you're losing in every tournament, you're not quite up to scratch, it might affect you. You don't. You want to bow out on a high, and that's what he's looking at. Looking at the relatively lesser um, competitions, with due respect to the Paris Masters, and looking at the big tournaments, the, just, the, the yes. big, the Grand Slam. He's talked about Roland Garros 2020. So the French fans will see him next year, mm -hmm. but they will be bitterly disappointed. I'm certain the, the the organizers will be disappointed, frustrated. I think frustrated is the word because, like she said, when when his name is is in the picture, I mean, you're getting 30-40% more fans coming out to say, want to see the great man, and it's, it's great for him, and it's great for tennis as well, because what you want to do is, I know he's not going to play forever, but you want him around <laughs> for a longer time, you want him to, to be, I mean, when you look at Rafael Nadal, or when you look at Roger Federer, you associate elegance with what he does, you look at so much poise, so much yes. grace about what he, how he goes about his job. And, and for fans, what do we care? We want to see him play as long, I mean, I just, as possible. I just want to emphasize the issue yeah. of strategy a bit more because okay. um, people who know the way they, they you know, attribute points to these matches know that you know, you're looking at a Grand Slam, you're looking at 2,000 points. Uh, whereas, you know, ATP Masters, a thousand points. So you have to sort of check and say, is it worth my, you know, squandering myself like yeah. this just mm -hmm. to achieve? And what, what are the points I'll get?
get if I play in this match as opposed to the other match? And, you know, people have said, look, how long will he last? It's really a matter of ego and fitness, you know, because he, we want him to stick around till, you know, as long as possible. But is he likely to want to be relegated to being like a journeyman, as people have tagged Filipiano Lupe mm. Lopez, <laughs> where you just show up for the love of the game or you show up and you want to still remain within the top 10? Sure. We want him to be in the top 10 because we want to stay with that image we have of him. So if you want him to be in the top 10, then you should actually um, celebrate with him now that he needs to pull out and probably get uh, a little recess and ensure that he gets back stronger.